Welcome to Great Propaganda, where we discuss the lies, falsehoods, and politics of the day. Today we have an article from ABC News. New York City teacher shot in the hand by stray bullet that flew through a classroom window. While we recently had four dead and nine injured in a Georgia school shooting uh, the same day, I want to talk a bit about this story from the Bronx that is definitely getting overshadowed. A New York teacher teacher was shot in the hand and we will most likely never know who really pulled the trigger even if they get arrested Uh, because I'm willing to bet if this wasn't gang violence which is already a common occurrence in the area it will be because of the increase in illegal immigrants in this sanctuary city. I keep an eye on conservative news media to see if they ever let us know who was really involved in this shooting. Uh, One day before school opens, where this classroom could have been full of students, and I bet you will see this deadly trend continue with illegals in all sanctuary cities, especially, especially if the money they receive ever dries up and they are getting a lot of money. You will see them be joining more gangs, even more so than they are now, to get a quick fix, a quick buck. But let's take a look at this short video before diving into the article. I'm going to provide information about an incident that took place today in the Fordham section of the Bronx earlier today. The information I'm about to provide is preliminary and subject to change. At approximately 11.50 a.m., officers from the 4-6 precinct responded to a 911 call of a male shot inside of MS-391, the Angelo Patry School. Upon arrival, officers discovered a 33-year-old male with a grazed wound to his right palm on the sixth floor of the building. The male victim is a teacher here at the school and was preparing his room for the first day of class tomorrow when a bullet entered the classroom through a window, striking him. Thankfully, there were no children inside of the school or around the school at the time of incident. Also, let me be clear, this bullet was not fired from inside the school. And at this point in the investigation, we believe it was fired from a long distance away. The school was not targeted. Our victim was removed to St. Barnabas Hospital where he was treated and released. One fired bullet was recovered from the classroom and processed by our evidence collection team. Out of an abundance of caution, tomorrow we will have an additional school safety agents and police officers on site to ensure the children coming tomorrow and their parents feel safe and are safe. The article begins with, A New York City teacher was struck by a stray bullet on the eve of the first day of school while setting up his classroom, police said. The bullet flew through the window of the sixth floor classroom, striking the 33-year-old teacher in the right hand. The incident occurred shortly before noon Wednesday at a middle school in the Bronx, according to the NYC Department of Education. The bullet is believed to have been fired from an elevated surface at a long distance from the school. MS-391, police said. The school was not targeted. Deputy Chief Kayan Ramsey with the NYPD's patrol borough Bronx told reporters during a news briefing on Wednesday. The teacher suffered a graze wound to the palm of its right hand, Ramsey said. He was transported to a local hospital in stable condition and has since been released one fired bullet was recovered from the classroom and is being processed. Police are working to determine where the bullet came from and who fired it, according to the police chief. We are currently searching all roof, uh, rooftops nearby, looking for both ballistic evidence and video evidence. No students in the classroom at the time of the shooting, as school does not start until Thursday. Additionally, no students were around the school at the time. This erroneous display of violence is both upsetting and reprehensible, the DOE said in a statement. NYPD immediately responded to the scene where one educator sustained non-life-threatening injuries. We will provide support additional support We will provide support, additional support to this school community, it reads. There will be uh, additional school safety agents and police officers 
at the middle school for the first day of school on Thursday out of an, out of an abundance of caution, Ramsey said. Yeah, this was in the morning during sunlight hours. We had teachers in school getting ready for, for class. And I think you were going to see a rise in this kind of violent behavior. Thanks for listening. See you next time.